what's up everybody life's apprentice um, it is Friday I uh, I didn't run any dumpsters yesterday and I'm falling a little bit behind um, if you don't know I own multiple other businesses uh, including a roofing company and the roofing company is in full swing so I was out roofing all day yesterday and this morning I also do snow removal um, this morning we went and grabbed our tractor off of one of our snow accounts and brought that home so it is almost 11 o'clock and I have a ton of dumpsters to set and get to the dump. Here's our pretty sweet tractor. The Kubota, got a hydraulic plow on it and bucket and everything like that. That's what we just brought back from our snow account. I hope we don't get any more snow. We had snow last week, but none of it was enough to plow. So these guys are gonna do a little work and maintenance on that and some of the lawn mowers and stuff like that. And uh, I'm gonna be running some dumpsters. I got the first one set, 15 yarder set over there, nice easy set, wide open, big driveway. Um, now I'm going to pick up the brand new 20 yard that we just dropped off uh, on Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever day that was, the girls went and picked that one up. Alright, well we got the 20 yard picked up, we got it dumped. I gotta go set this one at the yard and drop a 15 yard where I pick this one up because they have more stuff than they can fit, which is great. Another sale. So I don't even have to type it into my GPS. But uh, seeing as I got such a late start, I am running short on time. And door is locked everything here looks good normal I got the tarper down um, I am running out of time at this dump I have to um, get in line and be in line at 245 because they close at 3 so we are in a hurry as usual it seems like it's either slow or it's just all out there's no hasn't really been an in-between now if I was doing this full-time it'd be a little bit easier I mean I guess I am doing it full-time hours wise but juggling between the other businesses uh, I'm not able to do it as efficiently um, and as often as I would like a lot of days I have to get other jobs going um, so I'm not able to really start running dumpsters until like 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock or whatever just because of uh, other commitments But uh, we'll see what we can do We got the 20 dropped off 15 picked up we're gonna go drop this 15 and uh, grab uh, grab a 20 get that to the dump and then I got 220 or a 20 and a 15 yet to set today so I'm hustling right now trying to get these all to the dump as fast as I can hopefully I can get the third one to the dump if not I gotta pick one up I think it's only a few blocks away but I want to type it in the GPS so I'm sure. Nice one that works out that way. The one I dropped is like six blocks from here and I'm picking this one up. This one feels heavy. Um, it's full of plaster. So this one feels heavy for uh, what I felt so far just putting it on the trailer we'll see when we get going down the road 
I'm gonna turn the trailer brakes up for sure. I'm back at the yard. I got both of these new, two of the three new ones um, back um, after their first go. They're looking beautiful. Now that I got them back, I can put some stickers on them. We got the stickers ordered for both sides, two feet by eight feet. Um, I don't know. I thought it was pretty reasonable. The stickers were $100 a piece. Uh, with three dumpsters, I need six. So it's $600 for stickers. Um, so I'm happy with that. Um, this one here is going out after 3 p.m. Um, I picked up another 15 that I had empty, which is really nice. I don't have to dump it. This one's going out right now. I have one more 15 in stock, um, and then I have the 10 yard at home. So I got to drop this 15, drop this 20, um, and then I have to pick up another 20 yet today. So it's a little too late. I can't make it to the dump anymore today. So now I'm just worried about setting them. Oh man, I thought uh, I was burning up a bearing on the trailer or something like that. I couldn't get the camera on quick enough, but uh, there's a dumpster fire. Not my dumpster, but at some apartments just back there. I started smelling something really funny, and uh, I was like, uh-oh, is that a bearing, or what is that? Is that the truck? And sure sure enough, the dumpster at the apartment, just where I was driving by, was on fire. Fire department just showed up. Woo! I know that's a concern of mine with the dumpster business is uh, a dumpster fire. I know it happens pretty often. Um, I mean, not like all the time, but you know, every day, I guess, throughout the United States. And uh, I don't know what you do if uh, if a dumpster burns up. What uh, can you save it? I don't even know. But uh, anyways, I just set that 15 yard. Um, it was like a half a mile from the yard, so I'm already back. It's been like 10 minutes since I last uh, talked to you. I'm gonna grab this uh, 20 yard I just dropped and go drop this one and then I got a 20 to pick up get ready for the dump tomorrow and things are just working out today because the other 20 yard I gotta pick up is like literally 500 feet away it's crazy how things work sometimes so we're gonna go pick up this one take it home and uh, we'll be running it to the dump uh, right away tomorrow morning and I believe I have some more to set tomorrow. So another busy uh, busy week once the weather warmed up a little bit it uh, changed big time. It's pretty cool. Well I picked up the uh, the other 20 yard it's at the end of this cul-de-sac and boy is it tight getting in here the truck just doesn't have the turning radius to get around and there's vehicles parked all over what do we have we have six now we bought three and uh two of these things are brown like this and i really don't like it and i'm not sure what i should do about it they're older dumpsters beat up rusted but they just look like a big giant turd and i think sitting in a driveway an orange one looks so much nicer um, and it's a lot more noticeable um, Not really sure yet how many calls you actually get off the dumpster itself, but I would imagine it's fairly substantial um, And just the branding aspect of it um, is really important. I think um, People are gonna see these orange dumpsters sitting in our area. You know, it's a small world, but uh, I'm not really liking these turd dumpsters. I'm not really sure what to do if I should repaint them or what Friday um, did about $1,200, almost $1,300 in sales today. Um, and I, it's, it's four o'clock, a little after four right now. I didn't start till almost 11. So in five hours, man, you cannot beat that. Um, I got two to the dump. Um, I got three set out and then I got this one picked up, which I'll have to take to the dump tomorrow. And tomorrow sounds like we're going to get this one to the dump and set a couple more. And I'm basically sold out. I have a 220s um, I have a 15 and then I have the 10 uh, I really don't know if I want to buy more dumpsters um, I've been basically paying cash for them um, stealing money from some of my other businesses while this one is just getting going um, and we haven't had this business long enough for it to be able to afford its own dumpsters really yet so I'm really not sure if I should continue to buy more or not um, it's something I'm going to have to think about, but uh, we continue to sell out 
and uh, that's a great problem to have but I'm really not sure what to do about it just yet if I should just sit and wait um, just instead of spending all this money just bring it in and just let it sit not sure um, but our seasons in full swing here the weather's turning a little bit nicer and uh, I would imagine that this dumpster thing is just going to keep going the way that it has been um, anyways uh, nice little vlog uh, dumpster vlog here today if you like it hit the thumbs up subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the next